So let's have a quick look at this touchless extension mobility login feature, which is also available in the version 12.5 SU1, I guess. But uh, we'll be testing this feature in CUCM version 14. So what are the admin tasks, first of all? These are five tasks that the admin needs to do before the user starts to use his headset for the extension mobility login and logout. The first thing is to activate the Cisco headset service under service activation and then he has to one has to assign the headset to the end user. We will see how do we assign the headsets to the end user. Of course, you need to have the extension mobility feature configured in your CUCM infrastructure. You need to have the latest COP file installed so that you get the firmware for the headset together with the Cisco IP phone firmwares. You know, so do not have to individually install those firmware files for the Cisco headset phones. And then you have to enable the headset extension mobility service parameter, which is to allow the headset for the extension mobility sign in and sign out. Let's get quickly started and see the steps one by one. Right now I am into the Cisco Unified Communications Manager serviceability page. I'll go under tools, service activation, I'll select my server, for example, and I'll go ahead and activate the new service called as this Cisco headset service. So you have to activate this service. As you can see, I have already activated it. The next step is to assign the headset to the user. So I'll go under call manager administration web page, user, man, user, man, user management and user. All right, that's my user and I'll click on my user, which is synchronized with Active Directory. And at the end of the page, so if you have a look, there is an option called as Associated Headsets, and in here I have the serial number of the headset. So how do you get the serial number of the headset? Please have a look at the admin guide of the headsets. You know, so once this headset is assigned, I will, I will put a link also from um, Cisco wherein they talk about how the headset management is done. We are not talking about headset management here. So once you assign this headset, the next step is to configure the extension mobility service and then create the device profile and then uh, on the Cisco IP phones, subscribe the extension mobility service and all these things. So I have already done it. You can see I have created a device profile which is my UC001 underscore device profile. And this has a extension mobility logout service subscribed so that I can log out. And then I have a Cisco IP phone and this Cisco IP phone is configured with the extension mobility service. So extension mobility service is done. Let's move on to the next part. So as you can see, I am into the Cisco's um, software download page and uh, I've just selected the headset 700 series and headset 730. And from here, you can just download the latest um, firmware file. Or if if you don't want to install the firmware file, then there has to be a COP file as well that that should be available from for the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. And with that COP file, you should be able to um, get the latest firmware for the Cisco headsets as well. So you do not have to independently just install the headset firmware then. So our next step is to allow the uh, headset for the extension mobility sign in, sign out. I'll go to system, service parameters. I'll select the CUCM. I'll select the Cisco extension mobility service. And then under Cisco extension mobility service, there is a new option called as headset based extension mobility. And here there is there are options to allow or not allow the headset for extension mobility sign in and sign out. So the default is allow headset for extension mobility sign in and sign out. And the other option is, do you want the users to press the pin after they have plugged in the headset for login or log out? If you say not required, then it will not ask for a pin so that there is no manual intervention needed. If you select required, then the user has to enter a pin after he connects the headset to the Cisco phone. So for me, for a seamless experience, I would say not required for now. And I'll just save it. So as we are done with the admin tasks, let's go ahead and have a look at the demo and see how this touchless extension mobility login works. 
All right, so before we get started, I would like to show you how the connections are. So as you see on the right side, there is a USB port that's available on the Cisco 8865 phone wherein you can connect the USB cable that's available with the headset. And the second end of course goes to the USB-C port on the headset. As, we, as soon as you connect, you will see a Cisco headset. You can click on setup and you will see some of the options like audio, general, and of course noise cancellation is also available with this headset. And if you want to test your microphone, you can test it as well. And um, if you go to the general settings, you see a lot of other options like auto mute, auto answer, auto play. First, we'll see extension mobility headset login with pin. As you see, I'm connecting the USB cable to my headset and as soon as I connect, the phone detects it and it says, okay, this is assigned to a user. It asks me for a pin. I enter the pin and the login is successful. Now we are gonna see the extension mobility headset login without a pin. That means touchless extension mobility login. So I'm not touching any Cisco IP phone this time to log in to the extension mobility service. As you see, I have connected the USB cable to the headset and the cable detects uh, my headset and phone detects my headset and then it will automatically say, okay, this headset is assigned to a user and it will log me in and it says that I will be automatically logged in without within a minute you know we can set this timer value it's possible we will see shortly what values can we uh, configure for the automatic login and log out with the help of the headsets and in a moment i will be logged in you see there you go i'm logged in successfully for log out i will just take out the usb cable from the headset and the phone will automatically lock me out as it says i will be automatically logged out in five minutes so even i can configure this timer value and i say hey i want to log out in one minute so this timer is configurable you know so we will see how we configure it and you see that i am logged out successfully the phone is registering again and i am registered back again as a logged out phone so let's quickly have a look at the auto login logout timer values. How can we set it? What are the minimum and maximum values? We have to go to call manager, admin, communications manager, administration, web page, system menu, and then into service parameters. Into this service parameters, we have to select the server, communications manager server, and the service that we have to select is Cisco extension mobility service. So once you select this, then there are a couple of values that you can see here. These are the cluster wide parameters that will apply to all the servers. So basically what we are gonna look at is the auto log out timer after headset disconnects. That means when you disconnect the headset, what how much time would it take? As you see, for me it was five minutes. I can change it to let's say just one minute if I want to, or I can leave it to five minutes so that user has a bit of a time, maybe he has accidentally disconnected the headset or something. Then comes the auto login timer. That means once you connect the headset, how much second it takes to log in. So it says 30 seconds. That's why you, sa you saw that it said, I will be connected within a minute, you know, so now let's have a quick look at the maximum and minimum values as you see here for the auto login timer after headset connect the default values are the default value is 30 seconds and the minimum that you can set is five seconds the maximum you can uh, set up is 60 seconds so that so that means for auto login maximum timer is one minute okay and then for the log out for the log out I think its maximum is 15 minutes and the minimum is one minute for the logout and the default is five minutes for the logout timer value. And so for the touchless login using the headset, as I already said, the pin entry for headset based sign in value should be set to not required. And if you want to ask the user to enter a pin for security reasons then you can set it to required but for touchless you have to set it to not required so i have 
shown you both the scenarios today you know and then there is this value which is called as headset based extension mobility if you set it to do not allow then you will not be able to log in with the headset if you set it to allow headset then only you would be able to use your headsets to log in um, into this Cisco extension mobility I haven't tested with a third party um, headsets and I don't think so it would work so for now I have only tested with the Cisco headsets and it works really great I have also tested with the decked headsets and that also works really great I hope this demo was useful to you guys and you would be um, applying these features to your UC environments and help people safely work in the offices in the coming time thank you very much and stay safe until next time bye bye